I want to point out value relationships in distant objects, and this is a mountain scene you'll see as it develops. But I see I see people sometimes getting these distant value relationships. Let's say that's my first major shape value that I put in, and then there'll be another one next to it. And what 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 I see students doing is that the relationship between this value and the next value I'm going to put in is going to be too big of a jump. So if that's if that's what you do, that's that's a problem because that jump has to happen in the foreground down here, not in the background. So values as as things recede in the landscape as they go back, not just the color gets cooler and lighter, but also value relationships get closer together. And you'll see in this next next step here right here so i put down this other color right next to this this one here and you'll see if i take a little sample you can see that's that's what's going on it's wet into wet this was an outdoor piece by the way from location on location so this where, where it comes together uh, let me get my red back where these two values come together here they're very close very close and this, this value right here, the reason I put this value, by the way, down here is this is one of my darkest darks. And you can see here, look at how much darker that is. But I needed that dark in here to gauge uh, my other values. So the next step, you'll see, these are this is uh, light hitting it, but far away. So even light hitting the mountains will get closer to some of these, you know, these values here. So this value right here that I'm putting in it's actually sunlight hitting it, but it's 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 somewhat close to the other values around it. And let me go back to my red so I can point. And then you'll see as the painting develops, exposure is a little darker on this. I'm gonna start putting down my another little bit of dark in over here too. More vibrant colors. You can see the colors a little bit more vibrant in the foreground. And as the painting progresses here you'll see I'm introducing my lights a little bit more light right here too but still this light and this light is close in value relationship I'm not talking about color but I'm talking about value you'll see I'm also introducing it in here too just a little bit and this is kind of dirt down here so I kind of left it for the time being as the painting was developing kind of light and then you'll see the see the final results the sky is a little bit blown out just the way the picture was taken but now you can see more detail here a little bit harder edges up front i have some cool shadows here and uh, if i do a little I'm just kind of color pick it i'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger um, if i take <clears throat> let's say i'm gonna take this blue look at look at that how much darker that blue is or vice versa if take, i take that blue look at how much lighter that blue is so as as you know any any area one more time i'm going to get my red marker all this area back here all the color i mean a value relationship has to be close to each other to give the illusion of distance of depth if if i if i would make this i'm going to give it a shot here if i'm going to make that a higher key painting and also a little bit chroma look what could what could happen it's it's just it it's too loud um, I want loudness I want higher chroma in in the foreground here like this so if I would have taken this it would have been just too high of a chroma and also in value back here it's too high key back here I need to keep that nice nice and close to each other